I finally educated the masses on what Dark Souls 3 Drip truly looks like. I guess I can finally relax for a bit, rest, maybe go on holiday, hit the Bahamas, I can take up golf, learn how to sew, I can, you know, you know, have, have a break. Let me just, uh, <laughs> let me just check my YouTube comments before I, um, before I go on holiday, uh, hmm. A lot of people are talking about DLC. What is what is DLC? DLC meaning downloadable content is additional content created for an already released video game distributed through the internet by the game's publisher. Oh, you want the Dark Souls 3 DLC boss drip list? Oh no. To kick off our list at the very bottom in the sixth position, we have none other than. Hey, just a friendly reminder, if you enjoy the video, make sure to subscribe because uh, it helps the channel a lot and apparently 85.3% of my viewers are not subscribed and that is not drip. The Demon Prince. This guy is absolutely sickening. He looks like he's been taking fashion tips from the Demon King and we all know that's a terrible decision. My man looks like some kind of rotisserie chicken crossed with a bat and, well, a, a demon, I, I suppose. He looks like, y you know if you get a chicken leg and you marinate it and then you cook it for too long and the sauce burns a little bit. The chicken's fine underneath but it's got this little black crusty layer on top. That's exactly what my man looks like. A terrible look to go into 2021 with. No idea what he was thinking. Personally if I was him I would be changing something up ASAP. Number five we have Dark Eater Midia. I'm just gonna put it out there. Drip isn't only what you look like but let me tell you, Drip is your personality, it's your whole character. This man is majorly lacking in Drip because of how mad he is. Look at this attitude he's walking around with. Why is he so angry all the time? Just relax. You radiating this this negative aura and it's, it's putting people off and it's making you Drip less and less. Attitude is ugly. You need to fix that, and bro, you need to get those wings refurbished somewhere, man. Look at those, look at those rags. You can't be walking around with those rags hanging off the back of you. How are you ever going to impress anyone with those? There's holes in them. Imagine having a sail on a ship with holes in it. It's just a terrible idea. And the last thing about this guy is he really needs to cut those toenails, man. Look how long those things are. Those are practically claws, never mind toenails. If I were you, I'd be getting a pedicure. Next up, we have Champion's Grave Tender, right? First, let me tell you, I look at this guy and I originally thought there was no real drip here until I noticed his sword and shield are silver with gold trim. Now that's a very nice touch. It's it's very subtle, the gold is very subtle, but it's perfect. It's the perfect amount to make a statement, to uh, you know, put yourself out there. But then I thought, wait, no, this guy, this guy kind of has, kind of has a copious amount of drip following him around everywhere. My man has a great wolf as a companion. My guy! You can't you can't be strutting about with a great wolf as a companion. That's mad drip. That that's that's relentless drip. It's man man's best friend. He's fighting alongside his buddy. Nothing but respect for this guy. Probably would be higher on this drip list, but let me tell you, oh, it gets interesting. Here we have Slave Knight Gale, a very heavy dripper. Look at that armor. He's got this titanium armor with little little hints of those those diamonds on his on his flaps. Wow, very nice armor, very well dressed. The hood is iconic. Look how it points. Little Red Riding Hood would be jealous. Look at this cape. His cape flows as he swings that sword. His cape flows and it's glowing red. He's got a red aura coming from his cape. Very, very nice. He's got a bit of a scraggly beard going on. Could do with getting something done there. A little bit of grooming wouldn't do him any harm. But I guess it's uh, it's not the worst beard I've ever seen. I've seen worst weaves and worst beards in this franchise, but it could do with a little bit of TLC. But the real thing bringing him down, and my god does it bring him down, is that crusty ass sword. That is disgusting, bro. That is, that is decrepit. You can't be, you can't really be repping that and expect to reach high, higher on the drip list. My, my god, I'm, no cap. This guy could have been slot one, slot two, but no, he's all the way in third because of that crusty ass sword. Easy fix for my guy, just needs to go down to the sword store. Replace it for some new great sword. Maybe 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 you can even go for like a little a little short sword or a, a just 
a longsword, you know, something one-handed he could go for, and then a nice shield maybe? Or even if he tried switching up with like a crossbow or a bow and arrow, I think he could pull it off. That's the thing, he's got this kind of stealth, like, rogue look about him, so he could really rep anything he wants. Okay, I'm going off on a bit of a tangent here. His sword sucks. Anyway, that was number three. Coming in at number two on our DLC drip list is half Light. What a good looking character this is. My god, like, I mean, if they ask me out on a date, I mean, I'd, I'd have to say yes, I won't be able to turn this guy down. Absolutely handsome. That weave, well tamed, well trimmed, very nicely maintained. We appreciate to see a well looked after weave in this strip list. That chain, he's got a very nice chain on him. He's walking around with a little classic string kind of rock on, rock on a string look, is that? Very nice. He's got this kind of dress thing going on. It's got gold trim. Is that gold leaf on his dress? Wow, I didn't expect to see that in Dark Souls. Needless to say, he is a lightning guy. He can wield lightning like no other. He's an absolute hero when it comes to lightning. Is that a waist trainer? Is my man wearing a waist trainer? Woo, okay. He's, he's got a waist trainer on. He's trying to trying to pull pull that little waist and get that little itty bitty waist going on. I respect it. He's dripping hard, and that's why he's taking the number two slot on our drip list. Nothing to complain about there. The, the little purple rag he's got tied around his waist is also very nice. It's very royal looking. He's got this kind of royal aura about him. Mad respect for this guy. Although. He has nothing on our number one slot. If you didn't already guess it, I don't know what you're doing here. First on our list, we have Sister Freed. My god, I have never seen so much drip in one place in a Dark Souls game. Number one on the DLC list? <laughs> All I'm saying is, this, this would take the number one slot on the overall list. Sister Freed dripping from head to toe, literally wearing something on every ounce of her body from head to toe. Doesn't even need to show her face to drip hard. We already know there's true beauty underneath that hood. We have these beads hanging from her waist. These very stylish, uh, are those? Those are designer beads, right? These very stylish designer beads. You can't really get a much cooler weapon than a giant scythe. She is fighting with a giant scythe. <laughs> Sorry, spoke too soon. Black flame free. She is fighting with two fucking giant scythes. Look at this shit. If one wasn't a flex enough, she just breaks out the second. Just to show you that you are nothing. You are going to get obliterated by her two sides. And then you think maybe you, you're getting the, the upper hand on free. She brings out the fucking fire, dad. She brings out big bad father Ariandel and a whole bunch of fire. She brings fire, dad. She has backup. And she has a ride or die homie who's always willing to back her up in a fight. She has that characteristic drip. She has that outfit drip. She has that... That... Drip drip. She is literally fighting with her toes out. She has her toes out. I know I might have said she's dripping from head to toe and you might be thinking, how can your toes be dripping if you ain't wearing anything? Exactly. Imagine having the confidence to fight with your toes out. If that's not drip, I don't know what is, man. She is swinging through the air, two scythes in hands, an absolute fire outfit, and her toes out. God. There's not much more I need to say in this situation. That's number one. We have Sister Freed, the heaviest drip in Dark Souls 3 character out of them all. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you all in the, <laughs> in the next drip list.